All right, so profits are up among Canada's major grocery chains. Some have coined the word greedflation, as I just mentioned. As many Canadians struggle to handle inflation, what does your report say? We actually looked at um, public available data, really. We looked at uh, financial results uh, for Sobeys, Empire, Loblaws, Metro over the last five years. And uh, we looked at gross margins. We looked at profitability. We looked at ratios. And overall, we didn't see any evidence of, of uh, profiteering at all. In fact, uh, margins are anywhere between 2 to 4% uh, over the last five years. And a lot of profits actually came from uh, the sales of drugs because all of these grocers do, have, do own far, um, pharmacies, lots of pharmacies. So that's, that's really what's going on right now. And so we thought perhaps this is a Canadian – Reality. So we went to the U.S. and looked at nine different grocers. Same results, two to four percent. So, if uh, if someone is accusing grocers of uh, of, of gouging consumers, uh, they probably have evidence we don't have access to right now. Interesting. So your report finds that there's no greedflation. So are they simply reaping the benefits of inflated food costs? Well, the cost to distribute and sell food has gone up. That's really the reality, and that's something that most consumers just can't appreciate because when you go to the grocery store, all you see uh, are food products and prices. Up the food chain, things get really complicated, and that's kind of what's going on right now. But uh, let me tell you this, Andrea. I mean, the criticism that grocers are are, mm -hmm. are getting is is deserved because we know in the past uh, we've seen some some practices that were uh, under board, like the bread price fixing scandal that actually erupted a few years ago. So a lot uh, consumers have every right to be skeptical. Yeah, and speaking of companies rebutting. Um, some companies have rebutted that the high cost of food has actually softened their growth as people are less inclined to impulse buy. What then is contributing to their high profits? Well, so again, uh, I think uh, it, high profits actually have a lot to do with uh, pharmacies. Mm -hmm. uh, grocers do own pharmacies. But the bottom line is that they do try to beat the market. Uh, when food inflation is at 10%, it's always hard to predict market conditions. But the good news, Andrea, mm -hmm. over the next several months, since things are calming down right now mm -hmm. across the board with inflation, we are expecting more deals for consumers. So be on the lookout. All right. More deals is always a good thing to look out for. All right. Thank you so much for that. Once again, that is Sylvain Chalebois, Senior Director of Agri-Food Analytics Lab at Dalhousie University. Thanks again, Sylvain. Take care.